Greetings and welcome back to New Cycle. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this episode is sponsored by the developer. So huge, huge thank you. Actually, the publisher, the publisher. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. And a huge thank you to Roger. Thank you for becoming my latest patron. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join the Sky Crew, the, 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 the what do we call it? Our Sky Train, Sky Crew, something like this, whatever. Cats with trains with engineer hats on, waving from the cab. Uh, yeah, check out my Patreon link in the description. In any case, let's start uh, and get back to what we were doing. Now, we don't actually, we're not actually serving anything at the tavern, but it does provide some amount of entertainment for our people. Now, we're really low on tools right now, so that's not great. We are um, consuming more than we're producing, so we might want to look into that. We have zero mushrooms as well. Um, production zero per day. We need to check that out and figure out um, what is getting picked. Available resources zero. Okay, so that's that's what's going on with the mushrooms. I think we might want to build one of these farms. <coughs> yeah, we have zero per day mushrooms available as well. There's nothing else there. Yeah, we need to really uh, make sure that we get some other stuff done. Now, this gathering camp is going to be for fish, um, and so that's okay. But yeah, we definitely need to um, make some of those. Let's see. Do we have it researched? We need to check on that, I think. Kale yard. Kale yard. That's what we're looking for. So we need to research the kale yard. So do we have that coming? Here, here, here. Develop, develop, develop. There it is. Yay. Okay, start research. We need 22 tools to get that going, but I think it's really important that we do so. Let's see, can we... Here's our tools uh, income, which is not a lot. So we want to probably see what we can do about increasing our production of these. So here we have the ingots, and these are... Wait, that's weird. Okay, strange. I don't know. What's going on, people? All right, 18 per day. Um, hopefully, that will give us some extra tools. Uh, hopefully. Let's see. Let's also look here and see. Yeah, tool distribution. I wish I could just turn it off completely. Uh, that would have been nice, but... <clears throat> Unfortunately, that is not what we can do at the moment. So I think also with the food, I think we're going to turn the dis distribution to regular meals until we can get those kale yards going. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit more tools, which is great. Let's see. Can we build... Have we gotten the... Uh, let's see, vocational training that gives us technical boot camp and paper. We don't need that yet. Clay, bricks, kiln, we have. Um, I'm looking for the clothing, yeah. But I think the cultivation is much more important. Uh, oh, we were missing a second ingredient. What was that again? We needed paper. Oh, no. So we do have to do this one first. Okay, well, let's just... Get that one going first so that we can start paper uh, production. Okay, so here's one of our lumber mills. We are going to be able to get paper after this. Let's see, there we go. Got both of those running. Very good. So we are still making some food. We do have a little bit of meat here. Um, let's just make sure we have a soup kitchen that's taking care of that. We have fish. Uh, what about you? Oh, this one is not making anything. So you make it out of meat. Do we have any more? We have three altogether. Oh, this is meat. Okay, so this one, this one can be the vegetables, which we don't have yet. But we're we also don't <coughs> we're not putting any employees in there yet. Uh, not yet. How about you? You are working. Very good. Very good. Okay, we are getting tools. Let's just uh, click on our research, and then we need the paper. Okay, here we go. Oh, we need thirty-four, not thirty-two. Almost. Getting there. Getting there. Come on. Give us more tools. Hurry up, folks. Let's go. 33. 34. Okay, good. 
So here we go, start the research, and then we'll save up some more tools for that. We also need 420 paper. That's quite a lot. Some heavy rain going on now. Okay, we will be prepared for the worst. Okay, what's going on now? Chief, we need proper prep uh, preparation to sustain our life here. One of the most important lessons of the last 50 years has been that we can't rely on the seasons to behave as we expect. The fickle atmosphere can breed hellish heat waves and freezing colds in any geography. This state has only worsened with time. It would be foolish to expect it to get better from here. We need to stock up on our essential needs, at the very least on food and water. This will help us cope with extreme seasonal cycles as well as whatever else pushes us to desperation. Though we can't be ready for everything, we can at least try and secure our current well-being. Stock 5,000 water and 1,200 simple meal. Okay, sure. Um, we're almost there, actually. With Oh, we're, we're dwindling on food supplies, so that's not great. Uh, oh, we, we, we got that one. Nice, nice, very nice. Okay, great. Okay, getting that research done, getting more tools for the next research. I am a tiny bit worried here about stuff and things, but let's see. How's this coming along? Okay, now let's get some workers here getting these fish. I am very worried about that. Um, let's go, actually, let's go to, to one of the other gathering camps. This is kind of convenient. Um, I'm going to just put this down to one person on these where there's zero available in hopes that they will be available at one point, some point. Okay. So these people, oh, we have available availability with meat here. That's great. Okay. And then, wait, was there fish available? There is fish. Nice. Okay. Let's get fish going as well. Anybody else that we can take off of other stuff? Oh, looks like you know what? I think what I'll do is I want to get rid of all the mushroom pickers that have zero available because we actually do need them for other peop other things and we can add them later. Okay, you have, let's put like two people here. And then here, let's get three fish going on. Three people for per fish. Uh, this one, wow, this has absolutely nothing available. Okay, all right, let's leave it there. Let's leave that there, and um, that should give us something later. All right, very good. So that hopefully should get our meals uh, up, I hope. Let's make sure, let's see, these guys have, we have fish. How much fish do we have? Are we getting a whole bunch of this? We have 25 fish. Uh, meat 60 so it's not like over capping in huge amounts so I think I think it's gonna be fine okay group of travelers all right except we need more workers let's go okay hopefully we're gonna get up on the meals there we go production is up an aid for our memory We've grown fast, Chief. Knowledge will gain more and more importance as we keep growing. As a community, we need to ways to produce and share knowledge more effectively. Ah, produce paper. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so we did get our technology, which is great. So let's change one of these lumber mills to paper. And we need a whole bunch. We need like 400 to get uh, that next technology. So that's kind of needed. Let's see. It looks like we're getting a lot of meat. So we're going to change this mushroom one to meat instead and we can change it to other stuff if we need to just produce more stuff but that's going to be really nice for our uh, production and then we really want to get i think w let's check how much paper we needed i think it was like 400 420 okay so we need 420 paper we do actually have enough tools which is great so that's exciting Ah, yes, and Carla and her people are going to arrive soon, too. Uh, let's check on housing. I, I want to figure out the housing, too. Do we have enough? Yes, 100%. Good, good. So that's fantastic. All right, 320. Good. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Ah, 
Oh, nice. We can change uh, what we want to display here. That's pretty cool. Let's put fish here instead. It's too bad we can't have like multiple rows of stuff. I would really like a RimWorld style, like where you can see all of the things that you have. Let's see, we don't have clothes yet. Uh, I'm going to take the leather off and change this to, what do we want instead? Uh, maybe, mm, mm, we have fish and meat. Okay, so maybe, mm, we'll, we'll leave it, we'll leave it, because we don't actually have anything we want to change to. 480, let's go. Let's get our um, cultivation research going. So we can also make the technical training camp, technical boot camp, which allows us to train craftsmen and uh, other higher level folks. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Here it is, technical boot camp. Okay, so this is a bit too big for this specific area. We'll go ahead and put it up here. Doesn't really need to be in the housing section at all. Okay, how are we doing over here? We have nothing, so nobody's working there. That's fine, we can just close this for now. Okay, we got it. Now, vegetables, yay! So now, I wanna build, let's just put this on one speed again, or actually less speed. Um, so that we can build a kale yard or several. Now, you can see this green really lights up um, as we are ready to put stuff down, and that's really good for um, fertility and stuff that we can uh, make sure that we have good uh, options here for for building these uh, different things. All right, um, let's put this one as well. We'll put shift click. Let's build three kale yards. Uh-huh. And that hopefully will stabilize our food economy. That's uh, kind of important. Okay, technical boot camp has been completed. That's great. Okay, yay. All right, so here, now this is kind of an, an interesting building. It takes tools to train people. So you notice it takes five basic tools and 200 paper. Keep in mind, remember, that we have already, um, we have the thing that does minus a half of the resources required. So this is already a huge amount of stuff. Um, and you can do up to four train uh, trainees at a time. Um, let's do it, let's do two, because we have enough paper for two. So then this person trains the other people uh, into, uh, Hope, well, hopefully trains them. There is a chance of uh, failure. Okay, let's get um, these things going. Let's put like two employees here. Not enough for there. Okay, and then here we can have herbs. Um, unfortunately, we don't actually have a use for herbs yet that we know of. Let me just take one person. Actually, no, I don't want to take one person off there. Let's leave it as it is, and when Carla comes with her uh, people, then we can allocate more employees to these kale yards. Um, and we did remember allocate uh, somebody for the soup kitchen. Yeah, that's here. So, yep, that's going to be... Well, we don't actually have anybody working here. That is a slight problem. Let's see, this is meat. We can take two people off of here and just put them on here. All right, nice. Actually, let's change this one instead of meat. We'll change it to fish now because we are getting a buildup of fish and not as much meat. So, all right, results are ready. Okay, look at this. No one succeeded in their training. Okay, so basically we just used all that paper and tools for nothing. Nobody got trained. Let's see, we can go for 600. There we go. Let's do another set of trainees. Well resources exhausted. That's not good. So that's this one over here. Um, we are doing okay on wa... Well, not really okay, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can add another uh, well. Where's the well? There's the well. Okay. Here is a spot. Okay, this one... Okay, we can add one here. Here's three spots, okay. And then we can do one here as well. A well as well, mm-hmm. Okay, where is our road? There's our road. We can go up here, 
Nice. And then here. Let's just go that way. Okay. Training. We got two engineer or cr two craftsmen. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, just because you have a craftsman doesn't mean you can actually ass assign them. They are tech generally assigned in very specific buildings and stuff. So we don't actually have a building that would take craftsmen right now, I don't think. All right, let's see if we can do another technology. Maybe our weaving research. Okay, we need 850 uh, paper for that. Here's our end of the year thingy. We had four days of sandstorm. Lots of structures, lots of developments. I think all, all of those were the windmills and stuff we sen set up last time. Our wind mines, yes. The wind mines that define our colony name. So, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? We got this. Ah, Carla is here. Okay, great. We have many new people now. That's pretty fantastic. So, let's go ahead and fill these jobs. Um, yep, go here, please. And then I want them to be working at these farms. Let's go ahead and do, let's do like one person doing herbs. And then four people at each of the two uh, vegetable farms. All right, new cycle. Yes, all right. So we got access to a new cycle where we get proper farms, residences, storehouses, smelters, maintenance and building, water pump, and a guard house. And then we have these other different uh, resources down here that we can put in. But we need to figure out how we can kind of just we got to get uh, development going at least slowly um, I'm kind of surprised in this game where healthcare seems to come really late um, we do have enough food so I'm gonna go ahead and put our people's uh, food needs up so that their health stays good um, it looks like everybody's healthy so that's good maybe we just leave the distribution normal for now until they unless they start getting sick Let's see, housing is at 80% and entertainment at 80%. Um, let's see, the next cycle of stuff is on level two, but we need, uh, wow, consumes 95 electricity. That is a lot of electricity. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and make a couple more of these residences, maybe four more. Not residences, whatever they're called. Uh, shacks. Shacks, yes, beautiful. We have, yeah, the latest in shack design. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll go ahead and put in, maybe I'll put it in a road here so they can kind of cross over. Okay, weaving is done. Good, good. What else? So surveillance, we get the Scouts Guild. This is kind of nice, actually, getting the Scouts Guild. So let's get that one. And in the meantime, let's build a tailor so that we can take advantage of these... Uh, of the fur and stuff that we have. We may need two of these buildings. Let's just see what the production is like with one. And see. Because that'll allow us to use these uh, leather pieces that we have. It looks like fur to me, but yeah, it's leather. Um, all right, Scouts Guild, yay. And then, what else are we missing? Nothing on this cycle. Okay, so now we have a new set of stuff in this new cycle. Um, so this gives us what? Residences? That sounds pretty great. Um, we need stable roots though. So we need this one first, maintenance building. All right. So we're going to need 950 paper in order to get that. Um, let's also put in the Scouts Guild. There we go. Group of tra- oh, travelers, really? Oh, they must be- uh, up the road where we can't see them yet. Okay. So how are we doing on the tailor? We might be able to use one of our engineers. Yes, or our craftsmen. Excellent. Yes. Okay, let's just fully stock this place. Um, so we have full workforce and they have decent efficiency. And we're getting clothes. Let's see. Uh, we're not consuming any yet, but we need to just keep track of that because that's something that... Um, That'll come when the game updates itself, kind of, and people are like, hey, look at that, we got clothes! Okay, so now we can create scout teams, right? I'm going to create two, and then we can go to the world map and start exploring. So let's go up here to the highlands, we'll send scout one. Uh, usually I like to do one, one area, then the other of the other area, and as we kind of 
explore these places. We're going to get smaller little places they can walk around and figure out what resources are around and what we can tap, stuff like that. So that's, uh, that's coming up. Okay, so we have, oh no, bars. We need iron bars. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the tools for now. And so we can build up a little bit of a stock of these iron bars. Okay, group of travelers. Sure, why not? We got tons of food. We do not, however, have tons of water. Um, let's see if there are any more uh, wells that we can put into our territory. Ah, here's one. Let's see. What, are there f others? Oh, there's there's some down here. Okay. Let's just take a road. Oopsies. Here's our road. Okay, nice. And it looks like um, we are having a lack of trees. Let's see. Are we... Where's our tree cutting? Okay, it looks like we have no trees in this area. We're going to have to go and find a new forest. So let's do that. Okay. Field camp. Okay, here's a big area of trees. Wait, did it? They did. Okay. I was like, did it put it down? I don't know. Let's get our road as well. This is a bit weird with this road and these buildings here. That was not not a great idea there. Okay. All right. What do we got? Something is approaching. Oh, chief, these sounds can only come from a machine. Could our ears be deceiving us? Uh, let's calm down and see what's going on. Oh. Oh, it's a ship. My goodness, okay. That's unusual. We haven't seen a lot of other people in this world so far. It is mooing a bit. Well, not right now, but it was. Okay, let's see. So, all right, our scout number two arrived. All right, and so these lands, the collective territory has these different kind of things, okay. Um, also scout party number one also arrived and they have they also found stuff so let's go back to the world map again and see now that we've explored this area we have like little markers and this is why I like to keep one in one area and one another so I think oh okay top one is going north that's fine uh, let's have them explore there and then you go here just explore there so the highlands collectively we can see um, what we have and what we can build, right? So this, if we build a watchtower that will have an immigration eff effect and we will be able to analyze the region. Now we can't actually build a road yet because we need region improvement. That's a technology that we don't have yet, okay? And then we have these hidden ones which are basically resource gathering items which as we click on, well, as we explore these different uh, question marks, we're going to become aware of exactly what resources are there and what we can tap. Um, and in the meantime, we do want to get the things like expansion. Okay, so we need stable roots for that. Did we get that? No, not yet. Okay. Getting there. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the tools again. Okay. Uh, mutualism. Alternative companions. Animals were close friends to our ancestors. In the first moments of our civilization's end, they were the first to be abandoned. Oh my god. I, I wouldn't have abandoned my cats. After a while, they started to be used as sources of meat. Oh, great. This hunter-prey relationship, which has lasted for half a century, can now change. Now we have enough resources, and our children are growing up in a world where sharing is once again an option. Our growing welfare attracts stray cats and dogs to our settlements. People end up adopting them as pets, even if they don't initially intend to. It would be best to encourage this state of affairs. Um, okay, so if we choose this as a shelter... Rations needed are increased by 20% for all distribution levels. That's kind of crazy. That seems really high. Plus 7 morale for all classes. Pest infestation chances reduced. So that is another benefit. And the morale is good too. Um, or we can say no. Mm, I'm inclined to say no because 20% is huge. But pest, pest removal? Yeah, let's try it. Let's go. Okay, merchant has arrived. Okay, there's a foreign merchant. We can start trade. Uh, they will buy these things. Wow, we have a ton of meat. Okay. Um, 
Do we want to buy anything? Actually, I want to buy some copper. And the reason for that is because we're going to need it. And it's kind of annoying to find. Uh, here we go. All right, let's just buy as much as we can afford here. Sure, let's buy 50. Confirm. All right, cool. That was good. Because as we start getting actual mines, did we build any mines out here yet? I don't think so. Ah, we don't have basic mines yet. All right. Um, we have to research the areas where we can mine, and that can be quite annoying in terms of other stuff. Okay. Uninvited guest, I come on behalf of the Confederation of Autonomous City-States. My name is Senior Colonel J. Hamilton, Commander of the 13th Squadron. I extend my greetings to you. I demand a meeting with the leader of this community. You may speak freely. Let me guess. Chief, Captain, or Mayor? I at least hope you don't call yourself General or Governor. I can see your whole village getting worked up over my arrival. The beautiful machine that carried me here is called the TMS Horror. Wow, that's wonderful. Despite being a century old, it is still fully functional. On the way home, we had an unfortunate series of incidents. We lost one of our engines in a violent storm that lasted for two weeks straight, and three of our comrades were severely wounded during attempts to repair it. Despite an unresponsive rudder and a malfunctioning engine, thanks to my vast seamanship and leadership skills, we managed to follow the coastline and avoid being tossed around in the open sea, eventually finding your settlement. We're glad you didn't incur any serious losses. If I thought you were sufficiently advanced, I would have liked to stay and establish diplomatic relations on behalf of the Confederation. Unfortunately, you seem to be only a bunch of stragglers. Therefore, without further ado, I request your support for a quick repair, for which we cannot give anything in return. We will also need to replenish our stock of supplies. Normally, a Confederate officer would not condescend to ask for anything from small and desperate settlements like yours, but today the circumstances demand it. Think hard about your answer. The Confederation does not make trades, but has always responds to rejected demands. Hmm. So they want lots of stuff. Painful but sensible choice. 355 iron ingots. 85 tools. 1,400 meat. Wow. This is nuts. I don't see any reason to help them. Um, leave and take your broken ship with you. Um... Let's see. I think I think I, I we don't see any reason to help. Ah, I see. Another bunch of fools who think they're the center of the world and can overcome any, anything. Allow me to give you a broader perspective. Do your worst. Okay, well, they're probably going to attack us, but let's see what they can do. Thirteenth fleet. I like it's a fleet of one ship. I don't think that's a thing, dude. You need to have a little bit more humility. All right, let's see what's going to happen. What are they going to do to us? Uh, okay. All right, they struck here. Did anything get hit? No. You guys got to improve your aim, man. That was crappy. All right. I believe this was an adequate showcase. If you still find it difficult to understand, we can provide more effective examples. Now try again. What do you say? We get the picture. Uh, however, oh man, we still have to provide all that crap. Oh no. What a jerk. Man. Man. Alright. Anyway. Um, we have 700 paper. Is that enough for what we wanted? No. We needed 950. Okay. Alright, well let's make some more paper and hopefully get everything else going here. Here's our, uh, Wood people. We need this wood desperately. Okay, here we're getting fish and meat, which is pretty great. Yay. Okay, well construction. Lots of wells being completed. That's great. We have... All right, we're using six a day coats, so it doesn't look like we need to build another um, tailor. We're doing pretty well. Let's check on our people with their health. So health is very much holding steady. Uh, I think we can give them better rations. Let's just do extra rations and that should improve their health a little bit. We definitely don't want them to start getting sick. Ooh, province and scout scout number one. We found iron ore. Excellent. Okay, and down south? Barren Island. Alright, let's go back to here. Alright, you go here. 
Again, you want to reduce their travel time, so we, we might as well just go around the same kind of area. So in the highlands, we can build a mine, but we need region improvement. That's a technology, and hopefully we can get it soon. All right, we need 950. Oh, no, first loss. Uh, oh, Summer Holland died due to catastrophe. Yeah, because of this, I think. That was very scary. Okay, so we, we lost our lumber mill. That's our regular lumber mill. So let's build another one. Uh, and this one is making paper. So we'll let that keep continuing. We'll go ahead and pause this again because um, I don't know if we're going to have enough uh, stuff. We're not making that paper as fast as I wanted to. All right, new season, winter. All right, keep going. Come on, guys. There, we got our wood. I might think about building another wood wood camp here. Another field camp for... Actually, let's just build it right here. Because it's on a road. Why not? Okay, good, good. Come on, folks. Let's go. All right. 832 paper. Let's get you guys more more wood. More wood. And then you guys make lumber. Um, I'll put in like three people here. I don't think we actually need a whole lot of lumber. So that seems like okay. All right. We're still getting plenty of food. We have tons and tons of meat. So this one is fish. I think let's go back to meat instead of fish on that one. You guys are using the vegetables. I think I want to change this one out for vegetables. Okay, just to keep track of how many we have. I'm kind of inclined to build another farm here. Uh, let's do that. Let's build another kale yard. Oh, we could build a farm. Hmm. Okay, we, we need more stuff there. But uh, well, let's put this one here. Let's just have an next one, just for insurance purposes, you know. Okay, things are coming along. All right, so this scout arrived. Yay. Okay, nothing there. Um, log source. Great. Okay, end of the year. So now we have, there's our end of the year summary, which is pretty nice. Let's go check again. We, we want to keep exploring all of these areas as we can. So nothing found in this province yet. This is pretty, pretty not great, but it's okay. All right. Can we do anything here? Come on guys. Stable roots. Yes. Go, go, go. And then expansion requires, okay. Stable roots, lots more of that, of, of paper, lots more paper. You know what? I'm going to set the second lumber mill to making paper as well. We'll just fully employ them and then have them make paper too, because these uh, researches are requiring much, much, much paper. Okay, let's build more of this. Good. So make sure that we have a really steady food supply since we increased the rations. Um, okay, you're looking for that. Okay, I was thinking I had to increase the number of buildings making those. But I think, let's try, I want to do something different with the road here. These roads are just terrible. Let's get rid of this, get rid of this, and then put in a road over the top of this. Come on. Okay. There we go. So now we can make more soup kitchens out here if we need to. All right, scout one, water, great, all right. And then rising upkeep demands, all right. Our need for different infrastructure for diversified needs and production chains is increasing rapidly. Our settlement needs permanent solutions that will support advanced construction methods. In addition, advanced structures will need regular maintenance. Build maintenance building and assign a workforce to it. Okay, I think we probably just got that uh, with this building here. Let's look at can we build these houses yet no we need more paper okay but we can 
get the maintenance building. Here it is. So we'll build this maybe out here. Sure, why not? Message from Scout 2. Okay, what did they find? Water. Okay, great. Um, it would be great if we started getting... Can we get any of these things? Water well, we need expansion for that. Okay, so let's look at expansion. That is going to cost us paper. We need also ingots. All right, so let's turn off. Okay, that is off. I don't pause. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening, dude? Full response. Yo. So one of the things that I've noticed is whenever you have a fire, even if you click full response, it never preserves the building. The building just dies. And I'm like, why, man? Okay, so here we need wire. Now, wire is made over here, but we need that to exist first. Okay, that's this one. So we need 13 copper bars for that. I don't know if we have the copper bars yet. No, that's probably here. All right. But yeah, we'll just watch this. If you have a maintenance building, though, it does allow you to repair it. There we go. Repair. Um, we don't actually have the maintenance building built because we need the wire first. So we're in this kind of a weird state of needing to have lots of stuff. Um, let's see. This is... Wait, did we buy clay and not copper? Uh, maybe. Did we buy clay and not... Oh. No, we did buy copper. We did buy copper. Copper is used for wire, which is why I bought some. Um, all right. We need... We need stuff. Come on, people. Make stuff. Um... I really want to get expansion. Again, we need many ingots for this. How are we doing with the ingots? Do we have a lot of iron? Uh, we do actually have a lot of iron ore. So I'm going to go ahead and build another one of these um, smelters. Let's go back to thing one. I'm not really sure how I feel about these tiers of stuff. I feel like you're kind of like switching between them quite often. And it's like I, I'd rather have like a, maybe a scrolling menu or another height level like too high or something. Strangers, sure. Okay, fire, we are did, yes. No workforce, okay. Let's get you back working again. And we now have paper, which is fantastic. But we definitely need to get this forge under control and build more iron bars. Build more iron bars. We need to make more iron bars. That sounded very silly. <laughs> Okay, nice, done. Okay, we're making iron. Let's go. Um, copper ingot. We can't do those yet. We need to get our technology going. We have the tools paused, which is just fine. Strange lights above. Chief, the sun has been looking different since yesterday. Uh, oh, you know what? Our iron ingots are probably going for the stupid ship. Uh, Chief, uh, okay, mm, it's almost lost its round appearance, just like in the stories told by the elders. There's nothing to be done, but you might want to take a look. Uh, hopefully it's nothing to worry about. I don't know. Are we going to get scared here? Hello? Oh, boy, that's not looking great. Uh, that's scary. Thank God we don't have any cell towers, right? All right. Okay. Is that it? Good. Okay, we're good. All right, bad omen, solar storm. We saw it with our own ties. Half a century later, the same disaster is upon us again. We're not as fragile as the modern world that faced the first one, but we're sure it will bring nothing but harm. Uh, okay, merchant has arrived. Do we want anything else? Ooh, copper ore. I think we want more copper ore, actually. Um, that will definitely give us some uh, better... Okay, there we go. Confirm. Good, good. Because mm, we don't have the mining technology yet, so we can't even start to investigate the mines. Okay, come on. Make iron ingots. Go, go, go. Come on, man. Oh, it's the ship eating them, I bet. Yeah, 310. This eats a lot of iron. Meow. It's so owie. It's so hurty. Okay, we did give them meat and vegetables already. Separatists. Really? Why? 
Chief, our situation has been dire for a very long time. We've sacrificed more than our patients to stay our current course. Look, we have food. We got pets. We got everything, man. What are you complaining about? We've tried to keep our spirits up even in the face of death, but we have no hope or strength left. Really? No, you should be fine. Some of us are preparing to leave, and unless you can show us a glimmer of hope in the coming days, we'll see mass des desertions. Hang in a little longer, please. Raise morale to at least normal. Oh, God. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. We're giving them extra... We're already giving them extra food. What's going on here? You know what? Let's just do regular distribution of clothes. Maybe that'll help. I hope that'll help. All right, anyway, we're getting more bars, finally. I think we are we have provided all the ingots that they want. Um, I'm kind of scared to let them go on their way because it's like, oh, is that gonna, does that mean they're going to come sooner, you know, again and annoy us and stuff? Okay, 65 bars needed. Getting there, getting there. 62, 66. Okay, great. So we want expansion, and then we want this one next. So this is going to cost us copper. Oh, actually, then we have to get this one next because we can't get these until we get these. All right, so we need clay. Let's turn off the brick works. Okay, so here's our, our pits. Go ahead and turn off the brick works for now. And then we'll turn on the tool makers for now. Also, let's build another um, smithy. There we go. So we can make the wire and not have to pause our tools. But yeah, our tools are going to keep on going to the ship for now. So. Okay, so we got this one. We did get our maintenance building started. Yay. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Labor thing. Okay. Yay. It's finally over. All right. That was really crappy. Separatists have been uh, assuaged. So now we need this one next. So we need 220 clay. 17, 22. Okay, excellent. Start research. What is, do we need more clay for any of these things? No, we can start going back to our bricks again, I think. So these people also, they make glass once we get it unlocked. Okay, so let's see. You go there. You do your stuff. And then, what did we, wait, what did we get again? <laughs> I'm like, what did we get again? Something. Ah, expansion. Yes, storehouse. All right, we can build a storehouse. But more importantly, and we kind of forgot to keep people going here, we need to send our scouts again. Send, send. Okay, so valley, we can build a well. Plus 38 water. Let's build it, man. Let's build it. Here, we can build all kinds of stuff. We can build a well. Woodcutter almost. We need region improvement for that. But imagine getting free wood from the world. Man, that's great. All right, some people are dying of illness. That's bad. Um, sick one, barely healthy one. Okay, so... Eh. Do we give them more food? I'm kind of worried about the food situation. Looks like we are eating more than we're producing per day, so that's not ideal. Um, we have many vegetables. So let's build another soup kitchen to cook the, these vegetables. Production, soup kitchen. There we go. Okay, valley established, good. So that means we have water. Highlands established, excellent. Come on, guys. Let's go, go, go. Uh, looks like we need to switch this one back over to fish again. Hmm. Okay, this is going. Yay. And vegetables. There we go. We need to make sure that we have a constant supply of food. All right, scout one. They found hunting meat. Excellent. All right, scout two. They found a huge mineral deposit. That sounds great. Okay, so what else we got here? All right, so now we have mines. Um, we have a smelter, and we have copper ingots and bronze ingots. So let's get the wire. That's important. Oh, we need those copper bars. Okay, so let's switch one of these to copper bars for now, and let's just make all the copper bars that we can from the copper that we have. Now, now 
We can build a basic mine. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, apparently we can't. Ah! This is the mine? No, it's guardhouse. Where is the mine? Hello? Is it somewhere else? Where the heck did it go? Water pump, wire, residence, farm, storehouse, maintenance, water pump. Smelter, copper ingot. Uh, I'm confused where the mine is. Where is the... Oh my god, we didn't do the mine yet. <gasps> no, no wonder we were, we're lacking this. We're, it was from the previous cycle. Whoops. Okay, that's not great. All right, but um, I'm looking at the time and we actually have no more time to spend in our colony today, alas. Um, but we have discovered many, many things. We're on our way to getting wire. Um, that's coming soon. Uh, the wire is here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get our mining going on and be able to produce our own copper uh, soon. But I'm really happy that we already have a couple of wells uh, in foreign lands. Uh, so that means that we don't have to rely so much on our own uh, land here. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, huge, huge thank you again to all of my patrons. Huge thank you to Didalic for sponsoring this series of videos. Really appreciate that. And um, I am going to see you in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.